Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the next 10 days. It is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future, and we are gonna clarify, and then we will get some extra messages from the universe to see what else they have for you. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you are new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing, hitting that like button, all that good stuff. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. My other stand broke, so things are a little bit different. <laughs> let's just see. What... And I wanted to put this little thing down so you can maybe hopefully see the cards a little better. Okay, so the overall energy we have for you, we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so the way he is in this card, it, it seems as though somebody wants to come back and either apologize or they have something to say. And I'm not sure how you're going to respond to this. It could be anybody in your life. I think you, it, he seems very guarded. His arms are crossed. He's looking down. It's almost as if he's taking a look at the other three cups in front of him and recognizing how much more fulfilled he, at, he is without that other cup. So it also could be taking a look at the things in your life that are working. And if there is an opportunity, asking yourself if, if it's worth adding to what you've already got. I would say you're going to be very guarded and think this through before you make any choices. Let's keep going and see what else we get. So in the recent past, we have the Eight of Pentacles with the Four of Swords in reverse. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So something's coming up. I think you're getting a feeling right now like you just want to focus on working and it does seem as though something is coming towards you. It's almost like you feel this energy. If it hasn't been something that's really, really clear uh, around your work. Some of you, you've already gotten this opportunity. For others of you, this is coming towards you and you you just get the feeling. I keep wanting to say there's something that keeps pushing you, but it's almost like you have to navigate through the things that don't work still and make sure that you use your discernment very clearly before you make any choices about where you put your energy because it's worth it and you will put the work in if something is right for you. But if something's not feeling right for you, uh, I would definitely take a second look at it. With the Four of Swords in reverse, it's almost as if at times you know much quicker than you did before if something is worth giving your energy or not. So just be aware of that. If this hasn't happened for you yet and it comes about, let that pop back into your head and say, you know, I work really hard. And if this doesn't bring just as much to the table or it doesn't feel as good to me as it should, then I need to maybe think about this. It's almost like you make a decision really quickly. Like You don't have to really overthink it, but you will think it through. I just think you move much faster than you have in the past. So your current energy, we have, yeah, see, this is you having gotten to the end of some obviously difficult times. We're always in the ebb and flow. But this is a recognition of how hard you worked to get to the other side. And if it's somebody that wants to come back and you've already gone through all of that processing and you recognize your recognizing yourself and when this other person pops up, how much it took you to get past it and work things through, that's where I feel like that energy is of I'm not really sure. I think my boundaries are pretty clear. And then we have the Five of Swords because this isn't inner conflict for you anymore. The, the Knight of Pentacles, unless something is really solid and you know it's going to move forward with, I keep hearing the word grace, and you know that it's something that's tangible for you, I don't think you'll give it any energy. Sometimes when we have inner conflict and we're still working through things, people will show up for us to get triggered. Even if it's something from the past that we don't necessarily want to revisit, and I feel like for you, this might be a reminder of what you've already overcome and what you're unwilling to accept. And this pushes you in a much more clear and defined direction. 
So Ace of Pentacles comes, then we have the Knight of Pentacles there. So the opportunity comes and you start taking steps towards something, but it's slow. So it's slow and steady wins the race. I feel like that's been coming out for you. It's like, take your time while you do this and have faith. Even when we feel like we have to accomplish something right in the moment because we have a little bit of fear about what the future might look like, this is Spirit's way of reminding you that it's okay to take a deep breath and trust that things are going to happen even if they're going a little bit slower than expected. But you've overcome a lot of inner conflict around this and around how much you've over overcome. The recognition is there is what I want to say. So I think for some of you, it's not as difficult to go with the flow as it used to be. A lot more faith in how things are unfolding. So in the near future, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse with the Justice and then the Ten of Cups because you realize that the only way to keep balance and peace in your life is to continue to be who you are, which is never, ever, ever changing that lovability, that nurturing side of yourself, the vulnerable side of yourself, but also standing strong in your convictions with Justice there and the Ten of Cups in reverse. It says, I just understand if something doesn't make me happy I'm no longer going to allow something to throw me off kilter so it is very much about you getting justice in your life some of you it's going to be one of those moments where you go god this feels really good to just be able to say no because I recognize now having overcome such difficulties and having put so much work into myself that I can still be the loving, vulnerable, um, caring, nurturing person, but only if the others value it. Meaning work, if you work for someone, if they value that in you, fine, I'll take the new opportunity. But if they don't, you could be looking in a different direction. All right, so let's see what the challenge is. So we have the five of wands. Could there be a little bit of drama? Yes. So it's not fun to have to deal with that when you're, it's brought to your experience. So I could see where there may be a little bit of a, a battle there. Having to constantly repeat yourself to people when they don't understand just how much you've changed, that you can still be as amazing as you've always been, but you've changed in the way that you tolerate other people's behaviors. I think, you know, you'll fight your way through it. I also think this is sometimes having to relearn a lesson can be tough. But again, I just keep wanting to say you get through things a lot quicker than you may have in the past. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify. We've got the Four of Cups. What is this Four of Cups? All right, so that Four of Swords is coming out in reverse again for the overall energy. So you've got double confirmation there that this is not a time to necessarily sit back. This is a time to be very proactive with things and continue to put your efforts into the things that you know are important to you, especially around your work. So work's going to be a primary focus for Cancers, Capricorns, Aries, Libra over the next 18 months while we have the North and South Node in Aries and Libra. So this is really about building what you want and how you want your career to look from this point on. So again, it's not about resting, which the Four of Swords can be. It can be an energy of thinking things through, but this isn't that time. This is a time to really put in the effort and allow things to unfold the way that they are meant to. So the hangman is there. You may, again, this is kind of a back and forth energy. It's like at times you feel like you're stuck but you're really not stuck. You're not stuck there anymore. You're not in that place. Even though there's residual energies to feeling like you're kind of dangling, wondering what's going to happen next, I still think you're going to move through the energies very quickly. Then we have the Nine of Cups because you've already recognized in so many ways what isn't fulfilling to you. And sometimes we have to get those out of the way before we can really focus on what is. So some of you still don't feel fulfilled and you're still putting efforts in. It's almost like Spirit's trying to say, don't give up before it gets really good. And then we have the Magician. Perfect. Because you're still in, 
we, we go through processes. So you're in a process of still manifesting the things that you're wanting to create next. We're always going to be in that process. We're always manifesting new things. But this feels bigger. This feels like I manifest this over this period of time and I get to a place where things start to flow much easier than they have in the past. Again, Pluto is going to come out of Capricorn in January and it's going to be a huge relief for both Cancers and Capricorns because this has been a true test of our ability to get through. I say ours because for those of you that know I am a Cancer as well, our ability to overcome challenges. So keep at it because there's only a couple of months left before that transit shifts or that transit happens. And I can see that you're going to be on a much smoother path. I just feel it intuitively. Let's see with the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Do I think that there's a sense of losing faith at times? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It can be really hard to have faith that things are going to work out. And then as soon as you start to get to that place where, oh my God, I just, I, I don't feel like I can trust this process. I've worked so hard. When is something going to happen? Boom, Spirit brings in this Ace of Pentacles and says, well, here, here's a little piece to keep you going because we know that at times you lose faith that you have the energy to push through. So let's look at the Four Swords in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles. The Five of Cups is in reverse, which means it's pulling away feelings of sadness. It's helping you release whatever this new thing is that's going to give you that push in the right direction. It's helping you release some sadness, some things that have been happening. So not only there's, is there a lot of emotional healing going on, but it's also going to help you, I want to say re-engage. If there's a part of you that had lost faith or feels like things just hadn't been working out. Ten of Wands with the Five of Swords, we have the Page of Cups. So for those of you that have been through really difficult relationships, um, and a lot of times there was a lot of inner conflict. You didn't understand why you had to work so hard and why these lessons had to be so difficult. The Page of Cups is like a new, it's a new opportunity. Yes, it could be somebody coming in to your life. It could start with just a small offer. It could just be that you're starting fresh as well and how you view how love is going to be in your life. Everybody has a different way of viewing how they want relationships. Each one of us are completely different. And in this case, I want to say you have to go back to remembering what it's like beyond the traumas and start fresh and look at it with a new set of eyes. So the five of swords, when you don't have inner conflict and you've healed a lot of those wounds, it makes a situation that you've been through before seem less important and easier to overcome. So I feel like you've gotten through a lot of inner conflict. Five of Swords with this Knight of Pentacles. Then we have the King of Pentacles on top of the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So are you getting to that place where you're going to reach this feeling of, I have some power and control you are? Are you there yet? No, because you're still working towards this over the next 18 months where you're getting to a place where you understand what you want financially, how that's going to look for you. Um, how you can be patient while things unfold. All of those things come into play when you're working towards a goal. But to me, that spirit's way of saying, this is where you're going, even if you haven't reached this place. So try to be patient with yourself. Now, this also could be the reason why you start very slow in any kind of relationship if you're not in one, because you want to focus your energies there. And sometimes we do that. We have a tendency to pull back from romantic if we want to focus on work. Or we tend not to focus as much on work when we focus on romance. And it's always that beautiful balance that we try to find between all of those different areas of our life. So in the near future, we have the Seven of Wands with Justice, the Ace of Cups. So from the Page of Cups to the Ace of Cups. So here is when you're feeling more fulfilled within yourself. Justice is, is there. Yes, will you have justice in certain situations in your life? Absolutely. But it's more about you finding the balance and really loving where you are, loving who you are, accepting that, yes, you are a very vulnerable person and that's okay. 
And if other people don't like that or intimidated by that or project all their wounds onto you because it triggers something in them, that's not your problem. That's where you find justice because you realize that you can continue to be who you are as you've overcome your inner demons and still be the same person that you were in the past without having the same kind of experience with others. So you've healed you and your experiences are going to be much different. And the reason is because you've learned how to love you first and still accept who you are as a sensitive being. Justice with the Ten of Cups in reverse. We have the Eight of Swords, that feeling of being trapped in situations that weren't happy. Some of you felt trapped in marriages, relationships. You felt trapped maybe even in a job that you didn't love anymore. And a part of you, it was... It, is it self-imposed? We can take blame, not take blame. I I believe it's everything that happens astrologically, universally, in your chart, and um, all the planets forward and retrograde. All of those things play a part in each of our individual experiences. And in this case, you may have at the time allowed yourself to stay in things that weren't bringing you joy. It's because you were learning, truly learning, at a deep level how to Love what you do first, love your life first, and then share it with other people. So the five of wands, there's going to be some people who don't like this. As you go through transformations, each time you take a step closer to, I really do value me and I'm not going to be punished for it, there's going to be people who don't like it. There just are. And in this case, I think you've, you've learned, you've trained. Is it still tough? Is it tough when you have relationships either leave your life or that you valued or you hoped would be there and you have these battles with these people because you don't understand why they can't just love you for you and not be triggered themselves? Absolutely. So it may still feel like a bit of a challenge, but you're overcoming it because you've learned how to deal with it much better. So there we have, the, again, the Seven of Wands. And that right there, it's a challenge for you, like I just said, it's a challenge for you to put up your defenses, even though you've learned how to do so, even though you've been through all the trial and error. I don't know that it ever gets any easier, I hate to say this for cancers, because you are who you are, because you want to love and be loved. But when you realize that the energy that you pull towards you comes from how you feel inside and that inner conflict being resolved results in the people showing up in your experience being much more whole themselves. I think it's going to be easier for you, but it still feels like a challenge. It's still hard at times to put your boundaries up and properly do so, especially with people from your past that no matter what you do, you're always going to have some love for. All right, so let's get some cards for just some advice. What Spirit wants to bring through is some advice for you. I'm going to get a couple of other cards from the Oracles as well. All right, so the advice for this period of time, the star, healing typically is with this card when it's in the upright. When it's in reverse, it's not that a wish isn't coming true. It's that you can't see something that's happening that you've already been wanting to manifest. I think this is just spirit saying they're keeping something secret. And yes, there are some parts of you that may not still be completely healed and that's okay. We're always a work in progress. So allow yourself to feel what you have to. The tower is in reverse. So whatever event that needed to break apart that's what I feel like maybe you haven't healed yet from and that could be different for all of you so they're just saying take your time to do so six of wands in reverse because for some of you I don't know that this is advice I think this is just recognition of um, a little bit of frustration for how things have fallen apart and how you're having to pull yourself back together and the six of wands in reverse feeling like you haven't quite gotten to that place where you feel like things are successful. But then we have the empress, which tells me spirits trying to tell you that all these things are in the works. That's what the empress does. She's always pregnant with ideas and things that are coming and happening. And she does it with grace. So I think you've learned how to balance out your emotions much better. Realize that things take time as does pregnancy, nine months, however long it takes you to process whatever emotions you're having right now. I think you're doing a great job. 
some things you've released and other things may still feel like a little bit of a challenge, but they want you to keep pushing forward because there's so much you have to express to the world at this point. Strength card, I understand it can be tiring, but they want you to push through and try to continue to have the courage and the strength to keep going. All right, so let's get a couple of cards from the Lover's Oracle. Let's see if there's some other message. They keep flipping my cards sideways. Okay, we have my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. That can be for a past loved one. This can be for someone that you have disconnected from and you realize, okay, we're not meant to be, but nothing is missing because we're still connected as souls. And then we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. I think that's one of the hardest things is just to accept where things are and really be grateful for everything that you have in this moment. We're all always thinking about the past and the future and what's going on now, but just trust and accept exactly where you are right now and remember how far you've come. And then balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And that could be a good reminder for those of you that are going to be stepping into new relationships is that there still will be challenges, but they won't be the same type of challenges because you're much more conscious of what you've experienced already. And knowing those things will create a different response. And it's usually because a new person comes in that also has the same ability, meaning they're at the same place, even if they're not overly spiritual. So it is about both. It is about challenges and also support. But I think you're going to be looking for people that are more supportive of your energy now than you may have in the past. Let's get one more. We have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. For some of you, yes, that healing has to happen. It doesn't necessarily mean that that relationship comes back. It just means that something about that needed to be healed so you can release it. All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay, this is your go with the flow. You could be born on the 7th of the month. Sevens could just be significant for this time period. You could be seeing a lot of those. Typically, that's a lot of support, obviously, from the other side. You guys know that. And then happy, happy. This is where they're trying to bring you. This is what's coming. There's always moments of joy if we want there to be. And I feel like here, whatever goal you have, it, you've been dreaming about this for a really long time. So try to stay in this energy as much as you possibly can because this is the kind of experience that, of course, all of your guides want you to have. Everyone, myself included, all the people um, that support you and love you and truly are there for you want to see you find that place of happy. And this is what I feel like they're trying to tell you. Don't give up on your dreams because... They're coming, each one. Think about all the things you've already manifested up to this point. So you could be 26, born on the 2nd, the 6th, or the 8th, or the 26th. I think I said that. And then imagine, they don't want you to ever stop dreaming. No matter what you've been through, pay attention to your dreams as well over the next 10 days. I think you there's could be some of you that get visitations from people that have crossed over. Um, but it's, it's also just your connection to everything. Imagine, feel that. Your dreams are important. The things that you can think of, dream about, want to create, those are all extremely important. So you could be 20, born on the 20th, or the second of the month. We're going to get one last one, and then new life. This is where we're all headed. I do believe that in this age of Aquarius, we're all headed towards a new life, a new experience. So you could be 39, born on the 3rd, the 9th, or the 12th of the month. This is like excitement. Remember I said, there's that star. It's like you're reaching for that star. Some of you also need to put yourselves out there in ways that you haven't before. And it may be a little bit challenging, but it's going to create a new, a new life, a truly new experience for you. So hang tight because as you move through all of these emotions and these challenges, you are definitely headed towards something that feels with the justice card more balanced. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so much for being here.
Again, please hit that like button on your way out if you don't mind. And if you would like a personal reading, as I mentioned before, the information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I send you tons and tons of love. Have a great 10 days and I will see you in the next one.